Hello everyone, today we've come to introduce Thunder to you all. Thunder is a very flexible hero who acts as a brawler, often serving as a striker or a floater in a team. Because of his flexible dash and DMG immunity mechanics, as an attacker, he can force a breakpoint and finish fights, and he can also turn the tides in desperate one versus many situations. As a defender, he can use his nimble movement and DMG immunity traits to safely retreat after pushing forward to defeat a target. Ability 1. Lightning Dash. Dashes towards the target. Can be used while in mid-air. Ability 2. Plasma State. Activates after a kill slash assist. Transforms into a plasma state to gain immunity against damage at the expense of not being able to attack. Ultimate. Ion Shock. Releases an Ion Shock Beam towards the target, dealing damage over time. Thunder is a hero with a very high skill ceiling, and usually he is played by the team's better shooter to take full advantage of his ceiling. In actual combat, use a USP or a heavy pistol in pistol showdowns. After obtaining enough information, as a defender you can choose to press forward, take an enemy out with a headshot, and then immediately retreat with Ability 2 skill to reduce the number of enemies. As an attacker, you can use Ability 1's flexibility to force your way forward, then swiftly take out an enemy and activate Ability 2 to draw the enemy's attention. At this time, if the enemy focuses fire on Thunder, your teammates can successfully force their way forward. If the enemy still focuses on defending their teammates, then Thunder, who will have already created a difference in numbers and made it deep into enemy territory, will pose a great threat. It should be emphasized that when Ability 2 is about to end, you should quickly find cover. Otherwise, Thunder will be exposed within the enemy's range and easily taken out. For close range matches, Thunder can choose a weapon that's close with a short TTK, such as an SMG or a slug shotgun. As long as Thunder can use Ability 1 to quickly close the distance and get a kill, he can follow up with Ability 2 for DMG immunity. Combine that with a high burst DMG weapon, and he'll be able to finish enemies off. For long range matches, an AK is recommended. Finish an enemy with a headshot, and then the follow up strategy is largely the same as above. Thunder's ultimate deals close range burst DMG and has a certain degree of auto targeting. When the crosshair is fully aligned with the target, both of Thunder's hands will simultaneously strike the target with electrical currents, dealing high DMG. When the crosshair is within a certain range, only one hand will attack, dealing less damage than the two-handed attack. However, with nimble positioning, the auto-targeting can close in on enemy snipers for powerful attacks. When his ultimate is ready, he can use his ability too after killing an enemy to force his way in and disrupt the enemy's formation. There's also his sniper gameplay, which mainly utilizes his Ability 2 mechanic to quickly activate invincibility after infiltrating and snipe multiple enemies head on. These are just a few gameplay suggestions. We're sure you'll find even more ways to play Thunder. 